Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today I am very excited because I have got the very best $550 laptop on the market today to show you. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this and you should definitely watch this video if you are looking for a laptop computer in the $550 price range. This is the Acer E15 15.6 inch laptop computer. It is fully loaded with features. It has basically everything you could want in a laptop at about the $550 price point. I will go into the specifications in just a minute, but in short, this thing will run any Windows program you can throw at it. If you want to run Microsoft Office, if you want to browse the web, if you want to, uh, to edit some pictures, um, Skype, Facebook, anything you want to do in terms of running Windows, it will certainly do that. It will do light gaming. It is not a dedicated gaming laptop, but there aren't any of those for $550. You have to spend $800 to get a true gaming laptop. But it will certainly play Minecraft, League of Legends, World of Tanks, and games like that. And I will be following this up with some of those games as well, so you can see how well it plays. Now let me briefly talk about the specifications, and then I will uh, do an unboxing and show you the physical machine. This computer comes with an Intel i5-6200U processor. What the heck does that mean? Basically, it's the latest and greatest Intel chip. Uh, it's the sixth generation Skylake. There's nothing better that Intel makes at this price point. It is a two processing core, dual core, four thread chip, 2.3 gigahertz base speed, 2.8 gigahertz turbo speed, great mid-level processor. 8 gigabytes of system RAM. It is upgradable to 16 gigabytes if you need to, but honestly, I don't think it's necessary. For this level of computer at this price point, 8 gigabytes is just fine. Storage. I'm very excited about this. 256 gigabytes of solid state drive. If you've never used a solid state drive before, you're in for a treat. This thing is wicked fast. Boot times measured in seconds, not minutes. Programs that open virtually instantly. Very, very, very fast performance, and it's large enough that you can install uh, all your favorite Windows programs, Microsoft Office, and five or ten games without worrying about running out of space. This has NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 940MX graphics chip in it. Most laptops at this price point use Intel's integrated graphics. This has a dedicated graphics card added to it. I'm, Hesitant to call it a gaming card because it isn't really a gaming card. It will play games, but the performance is not there relative to dedicated gaming graphics cards. How much faster is this compared to, say, the integrated graphics and other machines at the same price point? It's about 25% faster. It's not a huge jump, but it's nice to have. This computer has AC Wi-Fi, which is the best, fastest available wireless access on the market. Gigabit Ethernet for connecting to a network, your uh, router, your cable modem. It has Bluetooth. It has got USB 3.0 super speed ports and HDMI video out to plug into an external monitor or television. It's got a multi-card memory card reader. And they claim 12 hours of battery life. Probably not. They usually claim the most optimistic scenario. But they do claim that it has an all-day battery. It weighs about five pounds and can be bought for about $550. What more do you want for that price point? Now, having said all that, you don't want to listen to me talk anymore now, do you? Let's open it up. So did I sound excited when I said all that? Here's the short version. It's a great machine for the money. For $550, um, you won't do any better than this. It's a great value for the money. Let's see here. Boy, there's nothing in these boxes anymore. Take a look at this. It's cardboard with two pieces of cardboard here and here holding a laptop, a pamphlet, and a power adapter. They sh I remember when laptops came in a huge box. What does this say? Got a question about your new Acer device? Ask us. One of the things I like about companies like Acer is that they provide uh, an 800 number with, is that 24-7 support? It doesn't say so, probably not. Who knows? This will be the power adapter. This isn't too bad. That's, um, that's not too big. 
Some laptops come with truly huge external power bricks. That's, uh, that, that's not too bad. And then this is just a short power cord. And then there's a laptop. There's not much else to it. Oh, there's more paper in the bottom. Looks, uh, what is this? There is a, oh, uh, support for international travelers. One year limited parts and labor warranty and uh, information for support internationally if you're not in the United States. And declaration of conformity, uh, legal mumbo jumbo. And a setup guide. Open it, plug it in, and turn it on. How hard can it be? What does this say? I'm just curious. <laughs> it shows you where to plug the power port in. Plug it into the only hole it fits into. I'm sure someone needs to read that fair enough. Well, it's a box. What can I say? All right, let's take a look at the laptop. Um, this is, oh, nice. We'll take the felt off. That is nice felt. And look how pretty that looks. Take a look at that. And it is plastic. It is not metal. It's meant to look like brushed metal, but it's not. It's, um, it's plastic. And this is what the bottom looks like. There are four rubber feet on the bottom for placing on a surface so it doesn't slide. Um, this is the access panels down here to access if you want to upgrade the RAM. Briefly, I'll show you the ports. Right here is the um, lock if you want to secure it with a computer lock around a, you know, if you're, maybe you take this laptop to school or work and you want to secure it. Here is a USB 3 type C port. Uh, that's the new smaller port compared to the older type A ports. You have your RJ45 jack. This is your gig gigabit ethernet port for wired network or internet access. You have got a VGA port here. VGA ports can still come in handy even in 2016. If you're traveling and you need to plug into an older projector, for example, there's a lot of projectors in the world that still use VGA. Comes in handy, otherwise you'll probably never use it. There is an HDMI out port right here, and there are two USB Super Speed 3.0 ports there for external hard drives, flash drives, etc. On this side of the machine, here is your DVD reader and writer right here. There is a single USB 2 port. Yes, that is a USB type 2 port. What are you going to plug in there? A keyboard or a mouse or a printer. And then there is a headphone jack right next to it if you want to plug in headphones. And then your power port is right over here. So when we open, let's see if it will open up without me holding it down. No, it won't. A lot of these lightweight laptops won't do it. The bigger, heavier ones will. But if you just lift up on the screen, you have to do that, unfortunately. Move these out of the way. Look how pretty that is. I'll mention it, you won't get to see it in this video, but it does have a backlit keyboard. So if you're using it on an airplane or if you're using it on the couch and maybe you know the lights are off, the, the keyboard is backlit, which is a very nice feature. In terms of weight, it's about five pounds. That's a nice pretty screen. It does have a HD webcam. It's not full HD webcam. I believe this is a 720p, but if you Skype or Facebook or whatever, or if you, uh, uh, what's the thing? With Google, whatever it is, the, um, I can't think of the name, whatever. If you do video conferencing of any kind, it does have a webcam and a microphone. Your touchpad's down here. It's got a full keyboard with a numeric keypad. What more do you want? That's very nice. $550, best $550 laptop on the market. Now, I will be following this video up with a first boot and Windows setup video, and then I will do a Windows performance review of this computer, and then I will do gaming tests on it as well. Things like Minecraft, World of Tanks, League of Legends, stuff like that. I might play, you know, FIFA 16 on it, uh, um, a few games. It's not a dedicated gaming laptop, so don't expect the world, but I will certainly do some of that. Did you like this video? Click like. Did you not? That's okay too. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big huge red button down there. That's how you'll get updates to the following videos showing the performance in Windows, uh, Windows running on this. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, those go in the section below the video right down there. By all means, let me know what you think. Do you like this? Do you not like it? Do you want to see something more, less? Was this too long? Was this too short? Speak your mind or forever hold your peace. Finally, I will note that in the video description below, a link to this computer on both Amazon and Newegg will be down there. By all means, compare the price, buy it wherever it costs the least. 
Both are affiliate links. Both do pay me a small referral fee. It does not cost you any more, but it is my primary funding source for these videos. I did not get this as a free sample. I bought this myself actually off of Amazon. And so if you wanna see more videos like this, if you wanna see more unboxings, how-to guides, upgrades, uh, game performance reviews, Windows performance reviews, I need your support. So please use those links and I will be eternally grateful. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.